Good afternoon, everybody. I'm uh, Randy Glish. I'm the village president, and I get to speak first. So thanks to everybody for coming out uh, on this very special event. And as Craig Culver would say, welcome to Delicious. <laughs> so, so today's a special day for the village, a long time coming for many. Um, a dream come true for our village and the groundbreaking of our new Culver's. Um, I want to say some thank yous first to Craig and his team for wanting to come and build in the village and for being a pleasure for all of us uh, working with this team in the, for the last year. Uh, thank you to the, our great village staff, the plan commission, village board members for all supporting the necessary steps uh, to get us here today. I have to say thank you to Frank, Frank Caruso, Corey, Riley, and Dana. Uh, for all their tireless enthusiasm. Um, and thank you to everybody in the community uh, and beyond who came down and left a little toy in the line and uh, donated to the little Culver's project. Um, the, fir the first time I met Craig, uh, he came to the village uh, in October of 2021 to have a little meet and greet. I, I have to say that he hardly sat down. So many people were interested in getting their picture taken, getting autographs. Um, I think he was tired after that. But, but I have to say that when I walked Craig back to his truck, he said he had never done that before. And that, so first time. And so he was very appreciative of the, the residents. Then, then uh, I also met or invited Craig to come down and see the long lines of the toys in front of you. Um, in August of this year. And again, he told me he had never seen a community this creative. And I think he was uh, obviously very appreciative of what, what this community, uh, what, what Culver's means to this community. Um, and then I, I just want to say a while ago, I, I asked Craig, because I was interested, I said, what, what motivates him? And, what has made Culver so successful? And he, he wrote back to me, he said, he said, simply put, my motivation comes from love of what we do, delighting guests and helping our team members grow in and outside of the business. We've, we've, had, we've had success because we stayed focused on people, remembering where we came from and having a whatever it takes attitude. And then just recently, somebody said, well, why, why, why are you all, people all so excited about a Culver's in the village? And I guess the way that I look at it is, if you've ever been to a Culver's, you know you get treated well, very respectful, very polite. And I think for a lot of us, that's a good match for our village, because I think our residents, that's what our residents are like to each other. So I think it's a, it's a good fit. So we look forward to the to next spring in the grand opening. And now I get to introduce Mr. Craig Culver. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. It is, uh, it is very nice to be here. And I want to say thank you, Randy. Thank you very much. Uh, Culver's and me personally have never been treated as nicely as what you and your village have, have how you have treated us. So thank you very much. And I want to say thank you to all of you. Um, this, what you see here, this has never been done before, never. Uh, it's just remarkable to look at and, and see. And how many, I wonder how many people actually participated in this. A lot of people. I did, as a matter of fact. I brought this little, and I'm taking this one home, by the way. I'm not. 
I'm not going to donate this one. This is going to go back in, in our support center, and I, I am very proud of this, this little bus right here. But you all have been a marketing program for us. Uh, think of, we've been in, what, the newspapers. We've been in TV. Last night we were on Channel 3, I believe. Is, Anybody from Channel 3 here? <laughs> Is that, or, or maybe not, but I, I mean, if you attach the dollars of what it, what it co would cost to buy marketing like that, uh, it would be a lot, a lot of dollars. So thank you for that. Uh, I do believe, uh, I believe o Oregon, the village of Oregon, and Culver's is a good match. I, I really do. Um, you know, many, many communities where we go, I mean, they, they aren't easy to get along with. They, they aren't, and they, they don't treat us nearly this nice, and, uh, but, but you guys have, and I really want to say thank you for that. We, uh, when we opened this restaurant, and I know, I'll, well, I'm guessing, I don't want to, I'm guessing it's going to be in March is when I, I'm guessing it'll open. But we currently have 883 restaurants in 26 states. So when we open Oregon, it would have been so cool if it would have been number 1,000. But that's not going to happen. But we will be, I'm sure we'll be well over 900 restaurants when we open. But, you know, saying that, that's, we're, we're a pretty good sized company now. 900 restaurants, that's a lot of restaurants. But this is, uh, I've said this many times, one of the things my dad said to me many years ago, I grew up in the business with my parents. That's why I'm in the restaurant business, because I was forced into the restaurant <laughs> business. But one of the things my dad said to me a long time ago, we may have had 100 restaurants at the time, and he said, Culver, it's not important how many restaurants you have. What's important is how many good restaurants you have. And how do you get a good community, a good business, a good organization. It's always leadership, and it's always the people they surround themselves with. My parents, uh, uh, you know, in the different businesses that they had prior to Culver's, they were so good at that. They were so good at surrounding themselves with people that knew how to say please and thank you and my pleasure. And, you know, I. Mom and dad, neither one of them had a college education. My dad had, uh, had a handicap of, he couldn't, his ears, uh, he was almost deaf. But you know what? I realized later in life, as I started to grow my career, how smart they were. And when I got, you know, when dad, I'm not gonna go into the stories, but you know, my dad asked me to go into business a long time ago, before Culver's, and I told my dad no. And I, I said, I, I don't want to be you, Dad. Well, guess who I am? <laughs> I'm my dad, I'm my mom, and I'm damn proud of it. I really, really am. But they're the reasons, uh, you know, they're, they're the impetus for where we are today. I'll never forget that. History is so important where you came from and it tells you something about where you're going. Well, you know where we're going? Oregon, Wisconsin, baby. <laughs> Oregon, Wisconsin. So we can't wait. We're, I, I know our ops team, we're a little nervous about opening here because I think we're gonna really be busy. And which is, that's the reason you get into business, by the way. Uh, but we wanna take great care of you when we, when we open and a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now. It's not just about opening week. It's about, you know, down the way. And we want to be part of the community. We want to be part of the community in a big, big way. One of the things uh, we do at many of our restaurants, actually all the restaurants, they have share nights. And we do share nights for different charitable organizations. And you can bet we'll be doing that uh, for the schools, for churches, you name it, uh, people in need, uh, we'll be doing that here in, in your wonderful community. I'm uh, just very grateful, I feel very blessed, and uh, I just, again, I wanna say thank you to all of you. We don't get a turnout like this 
<laughs> very, very often. This is, and when people bring chairs and stuff with them and stuff like that, wow. So this is just over the top, over the top kind of you and so, so cool. Um, now I'm gonna introduce Dana. Who's the creator of all this? All these toys and the little culvers. Where is the little culvers? Over there? That was started by Dana. Dana, come on up here. Dana Terrier. He's the one that got the, this crazy thing going. So Dana, tell us about how you got started with this. Okay, I have to apologize because Dana couldn't be here today, but he sent me, George Clooney, yeah. to come and talk to you guys. So, uh, no, I, I've, I've got to be humble about this for about three seconds. And then I'm going to go, yeah, was this fun or what? You know, all summer long and a mile long. It takes 20 minutes to videotape this with your cell phone. I mean, it's, and you're going to miss some stuff. So I was asked to describe and define what this is. Um, first of all, it's a testament to the love and respect that this community has for Craig Culver and the business. That's pretty apparent, right? But the questioner was asking me to put a name on it. Is this an event or is this an occasion or what is this? Now, Francine Tompkins, where is she? She's out in the crowd. Francine Tompkins is standing right there in the crowd. Uh, she and I were discussing this and she first offered that it's an outdoor community arts installation, which it is. And then she refined that by next calling it a happening. A happening. And in this context, a happening is a partly improvised or spontaneous piece of theatrical or other artistic performance, typically involving audience participation. That's spot on. And the last four words of this are important. Because while people have been thanking me profusely for the small phenomenon that this has turned out to be, they should really be thanking each other for creating the crazy buzz, as Craig Culver himself put it. So turn to the person on either side of you and let's have a wild round of applause for the great community that Oregon is. Yeah. Yeah. And stay connected to the little Oregon uh, Facebook page because there's gonna be more shenanigans that happen and you never, you never know what's coming up. There's a blues song we started working on. As a matter of fact, we put a little video out here within the past week about this blues song about covers we started. And I need people that can come out there with some lyrics. So send me some stuff. Back to Craig. Oh, okay. Here's our builder, Chris McGuire, from the small town of? Highland. Highland, <laughs> Wisconsin. Yay. Right. He's uh, the president of McCann. Uh, construction company and they have built I don't know how many culvers have you built a uh, new store is over 200 so 200 yeah and, and total projects with culvers over 500 so that's part of what I wanted to say is, is thank you for the all of the wonderful opportunities thank you for this is this is 25 years that we've been working with culvers and with that um, we've gained, gained a lot of wonderful friendships the best thing about working with culvers are the people they're absolutely wonderful. So we're very grateful for this opportunity. We're grateful for your entire team to work with them. And uh, just brought a little plaque along just to commemorate the day. But uh, this event, as, as Craig had mentioned earlier, we work all over the country. And we've never seen anything like this. Your, your community is wonderful. So thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Should we put it at the end of the line? <laughs> On wheels? <laughs> we, uh, I want to thank all of my team members uh, from Culver's as well. There's a number of them here. Uh, and I want to thank the FFA back there. They, they are going to gather and sort all the toys, and we're going to give them away to charity. So thank you, all of you, uh, in, in uh, those beautiful blue jackets. I love blue. I do. And uh, we're going to do a little groundbreaking then. Uh, it's right back here, Greg. And I want to, Rick, I want to introduce you too. Come on up here just a second. This is Rick Silva. Rick's our CEO at Culver's. You want to say a word or two? Yes. He never says no. <laughs> 
I get to work with Craig every day, guys. This is what I get to do. We are so, I, I'm going to repeat something, but it's true. Never before in the history of Culver's has anybody received us with th this much joy, love, and welcome. We really appreciate it. We're going to give it back to you every way we can. Great food, great service, great team members. Promise you, promise you, promise you. Thank you for being so kind. We're going to give it back to you. We can't wait to be involved in the community as well. A lot of good things that we can do with you, and we look forward to that. Thank you, Craig, giving us the chance. And if we do mess up your order, don't call me, okay? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's throw a little dirt, shall we? Come on, you guys. Looking good. Yeah. Everybody, get that picture taken. Everybody looking out here, smiling. Smile. 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 We all good with pictures? We're gonna roll some video and you guys are gonna do your thing. We'll do a three, two, one countdown, ready? It's like a food fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might want to get a little dirt on your shovel already. Right. But keep it down low, like you're in the pile. Here we go. Three, okay, here we go. two, one, go! Yeah. Whoa!